So the next board coming out here, uh, this board is not in your catalog. So, uh, you, you know, when you buy as many boars as we have, uh, we bought 34, 35 boars this year. We would purchased the Landrace boar that you'll see in the catalogs from McGrews. His semen is no good. So I called Jonas and the crew out there. And they're such a great family, folks. And I'm, I'm going to tell you something. We love doing business with great people. And we like to go back to the well where the water tastes good and the McGrew's water tastes good. Right out of the bat, this was their herd boar. This is a boar that they showed in Belton that plays second in class. They buy him back. He's a timings right, change of pace. He was their heat check boar, and then they'd collect him and breed their sows. His litter mate was third uh, overall guilt at OYE and champion land race guilt at Belton. Mom was a litter is a litter mate to on track and the grand dam of the champion guild at Kansas City in 2018. It's a star studded pedigree with a star studded accolades. Guys, this guy was ultra thin when he came and Jonas was afraid that he wouldn't be because he'd just been heat checking and running in the sow barn there. We got him home. I want you to study the bone. When I, when I met Jonas out in the middle of nowhere there in between somewhere of, of, uh, of uh, where they live and where I live, uh, we both just took off and met in the middle. And he come across a trailer. He said, what do you think? I said, that may, I said, that may be the biggest legged land race I've seen all year. One that's tall shouldered. One that's the right length of body. And he don't have chest or ears on him. He's got true breed character, folks. Something that's very important if you're a purebred enthusiast. Guys, his depth of body, length of stride. And I'll just say one thing. If the McGrews was going to use him for their 2022 crop, you might want to use him. I'm just saying. What do you think, Lens? Pretty close? 